Oh, heavens no. joy, shouldn't I? So, hello and welcome to We Happy Few. Um, I just decided to jump right into the game and chime in whenever the possibility. Um, so, it looks like we're in an office, our office, and now it's time after we had some kind of flashback from our past, probably because we read an article about our brother. Hastings Brothers win scrap gathering prize. So we had to, we had some flashback on maybe a train where we and where we were with our brother. And so. Do we want to take joy and stop remembering, or do we want to remember? Hmm. Well, I mean, I think the obvious, my obvious choice would be to remember, because this is a game. Although I, I don't know, I think this, this sentence in the loading screen, um, happy people have no past. Something like that. I hope I quote it right. Hmm. It makes you think, kind of. Because if you don't remember your past, then maybe you couldn't remember anything sad that ever happened to you. So maybe it's, you could be happier. But I think I want to remember my brother now. <laughs> so let's hold E and not take the pill. Percy! Percy! What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh. Nose to the grindstone, you know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since ten o'clock? Did you forget we're having Deirdre's birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Right. Brilliant. Of course. Have you forgotten your joy? <laughs> of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. Well, come on then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. Aha! The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. Oh, wow. That was a creepy grin just there. Happy I didn't take those pills. So... Okay. Take the empty power cell. So apparently everyone really wants you to, to take those pills. But I think that's the whole premise of the game. People who don't take their pills, who don't want to forget, they're like the enemy. So I guess we'll see more about the later. And I guess that we didn't take our pills now will become a huger issue later. So here's our power cell. Put it in again. No. Repl ah, place the power cell and now the restoration machine. Let's restore. There is now a curfew in effect at night. Any civilian on the street. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. 
That's what we'll do. Okay, so that wasn't us and our brother. We must be Arthur Hastings then, our brother will be Percival. So, the article is Hastings Brothers Win Scrap Gathering Prize. Percival and Arthur Hastings were the surprise winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judges that his brother has a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the garden district. Percival himself rarely speaks to strangers, apparently. The scrap will be melted down to be used to support the war effort against the Soviet Union, which is by all reports going splendidly. The brothers brought in a record 16... Oh, no, 1,654 pounds of scrap steel, winning them 50 pounds victory against communism bond. The second prize went to Alan Unwin, who brought in 315 pounds. Whoa, that's a really big difference. Hmm. Well, so I think we're working now on basically just spreading the good news. So... I probably would accept it, because why not? Apparently, me and my brother, we helped a lot by collecting all the scrap. I mean, really much. So, I think we should print that. A happy society is built on a happy past. <laughs> well? I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Hmm, okay. So there's another woman named Prudence. Apparently we like her, so we made her a card. Okay. I think Jen is short for General. General Bing clarifies registration procedure. General Robert Bing, the municipal liaison to the occupation authority, appeared on Parade Street Light last night to speak to a crowd of citizens, urgently requesting clarification of the new child registration rule. As most Wellingtonians know by now, all children who will be under the age of 13 by July 22nd must be registered with the authority. General Bing clarified that the deadline for registration is next Thursday. He refused to speculate on the rationale for the registration regulation. I cannot illuminate the regulation any further because Colonel von Stauffenberg has not informed me of its purpose, stated the general. I imagine and hope that it has something to do with maintaining nutrition for our growing children in this time of scarcity, but the OA have not told me so explicitly. He reminded the crowd that the occupation has so far been extraordinarily orderly and peaceful and that citizens' continued obedience to legal orders of the OA is crucial to maintaining goodwill with our visiting. Continued on page 15. Okay, so... Well, I don't know. I can just imagine that it might be not something to do with maintaining nutrition for the growing children. Shall we censor that or shall we accept that? I guess everyone would know anyway, so... I hope I did that right. Yeah, I hope so too. So, drug trials a qualified success, says Sir Robert. The first round of trials of a new anti-melancholic medication have been a qualified success, stated Dr. Alexander Gross, acting head of the Melancholia Studies Laboratory at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced melancholic feelings in 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 20-day period. Okay. How clearly can you see melancholic feelings in rats? I'm not sure. Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electrical shocks. Despondent rats take up to twice as long to navigate the maze. After administration of the drug, previously despondent rats regained up to 50% of their navigation speed before administration of the shocks, stated Dr. Gross. Okay. 
The drug now has to be tested in human volunteers. Citizens who wish to apply as a potential volunteer, there is already a waiting list, can do so at the Royal Victoria. Um. Wow. So. Wonder if it works the same with the humans as with the rats? But probably not. Hmm. No, I think I just want to try and censor that. Oh, I think not. Yeah, I think so either. Don't know if I did something wrong now. Just... Let's try. Oh, that was the last one. Good. So. Okay, so let's stand up. I really like the design of the game. It is... I think it's probably also the drugs. But it looks so colorful. So... Okay, Wellington Wells and Posturum Cum Gaudio. I don't know any Latin, so I don't know what's in there. So... There is nothing that we can look at. This is a cool chair. Just, uh... Watching the day go by. Oh, okay. When you sit down, you're concealed. And you can read the news. Okay. Controversy or not, Wellington Wells will go ahead with its 11th anniversary celebrations, which include a celebrity game of Simon Says, a masked ball, and the Hamlin Quartet's rendition of Ode to Joy. Ah, because the drug is also named Joy. Hmm. <laughs> so... I'm kind of scanning through those papers quick, so if I can see anything funny. Oh, lost and found. Mrs. Dainty has lost her cat. Have you seen him? He answers to the name Sebastian and likes cake. At least she thinks he does. If you find Sebastian, please return him to Mrs. Dainty at Thomasina House and she will bake you a lovely cake. Okay, I can't read the next one. Prob oh, yeah, wrong button. Okay, let's stand up again. I think we have to be somewhere. Oh, that's... Okay. This one's empty. This one is also empty. Okay. Let's close that one. Oh yeah, Arthur Hastings. Oh wow, we must be a pretty high animal to be... To have our own office. Wellington Wells, beauty is truth. Oh, so probably what we see here when we take some joy. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. Hmm. So Arthur feels like one of those canisters and those tubes, too. He wonders what life is outside of joy, so outside of taking joy. But I guess everyone else just doesn't care, because maybe they're too scared to find out. Okay, so we can't go into the internet work. Clive Bert Whistle. Okay, what's in there? Clive Birth Whistle. Oh. You're off at the party, aren't you? Oh, there's something. Yeah, let's just read his stuff. Oh look, Miss Bing has written Clive a letter. Dear Mr. Birdwhistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how best to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for suggestions from junior staff of how best to do my job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue doesn't return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is like... Arthur's thought. Take that, Clive, you little shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I think he was jealous of- he's jealous of our office because we have a window and he doesn't. Although he could take care of it a little better, I mean, ew. Or maybe he's just angry after he gotten that letter. Or maybe he hasn't gotten it so far because it was stuck in his- yeah. That's clock, that's lock, that's empty. 
That's locked. That's locked. Ooh, what's that? And here's a letter in what I am almost positive is Clive's terrible handwriting. Dear Director Bing, one of your employees is a subversive and may even be a downer. I overheard him and a commissary telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly and what's so scary about the truth. He's very tall and slim with black hair and brown eyes and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am a naturally shy woman and... And there it leaves off. A shy woman, are you, Clive? Or just a nasty manipulative schemer? Schemer, not schemer. Hmm. That little shit. He wants my view. Damn right he wants it. Oh yeah, let's go through his trash. Apparently it's empty. So, what are you doing in your life? Huh. Yeah, let's just sit down and... Oh, I would like to look at those pictures. Closer, but... Hmm, no. Well, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of you right now, Clive. <laughs> oh my god, we can manipulate him now. Haha, <laughs> how cool. Okay. Farm workers expected to return from Germany with the last harvest in and thrust painting the valleys of Thuring and Wellington Wells. 129 volunteer farm workers are expected to return home within the next two weeks, states Sir Robert Bing. Each highly paid and well-fed volunteer worker replaces one German soldier heroically fighting communism and the Eastern Front. Unemployed men of Wellington Wells who are interested in volunteering for work in Germany in the spring should contact Hauptmann Werner Erhard at his office at Waterloo House. I really don't know why I'm reading those German names in English. I could do them in German as well. Spring should contact Hauptmann Werner Erhard at his office at Waterloo House. Also Thuringen is Thuringen. But yeah. Okay, so this is the question here. I think that's... <laughs> mm. ah. So, I really don't know what to do with this right now. God. You know what? Let's censor no, thank that. You. Yeah. you know, this time I really don't want to do anything right because... Thank you, Clive. So, we can do another one. So, taxi service restored on three wheels. Wellington Wells once again has taxi service. Bicycle taxi, that is. Oops. The enterprising young Nigel Hemingford is now carrying paying passengers along Parade Street. He is also willing to take up to two customers at a time anywhere in Wellington Wells. Mr. Hemingford, 17, built his taxi out of two bicycles with the assistance of his father, Edmund Hemingford, Hemingford, known locally as the Wicker Man, for his mastery of the art of crafting wicker. The seating of Mr. Hemingford, the younger's bicycle rickshaw, as he likes to call it, takes its inspiration, according to Mr. Hemingford the Elder, from Roman racing chariots. Contrary to what you've seen in old movies, these had to be as lightweight as possible, yet sturdy. So basically, I wouldn't say that this is any bad news, so probably she should print it, but... So, censored. I really hope that I'm not getting this horribly wrong. I know that this is just some. This, this probably won't have any meaning for the game, but still. I. Bet that I just. That there's some really. Some historical clues that I were. Especially with those workers in Germany, you should have probably maybe allowed it or something because it was a scandalous news or something like that. But yeah, not that good in history. 
Wellington under reopens. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Colonel von, von Stauffenberg's efficient mechanics, the Wellington under will restore limited service. The following stations will be served from one hour after curfew ends to one hour before curfew begins. Waterloo, Menorca, City Hall, Trafalgar, Thermae, Victoria. Tickets are one... What's one S? 6P? I guess 6P is pence maybe? What What's S? I don't know. Six pence... Six pence for the aged, at least. Details are available at the stations during operating hours. You know what? Nah. Nothing wrong with that one. Oh, did I just. Did I just mistakenly prove that? No, oh, that's too bad. Well, whatever. Clive won't get my office anyway, just. I don't know, the letter said something about Prue, right? Oh no, that's not it. Prue. Could that be this prudence that we wanted to know about before? Maybe. So, let's continue. Huh, Prudence Holmes. Whatever happened to you, Prudence? I would like to know now, too. Ew! Okay, so what happened now? Hmm, so was this flashback, well not really a flashback, but what was this the image of how it really looks like without all those, without the rest of joy that we have in us? Joy the pill, not joy the feeling. I don't know if we feel joy. I wouldn't beside this fruit basket nope 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 so we don't have anything at the moment i wonder if we can come back at some point or if there's just there's wouldn't be in there anything ew so it looks like she just i don't know left at some point because really there are some sandwiches who would put sandwiches here okay so we can't use her that makes sense she... prudence homes no. No, leave me alone. i took my joy i took my joy no. No. Leave me alone. No. Oh. Okay, so that what's happened? That what's happening? So we probably shouldn't let on that we didn't take our pills. Hopkin Jones. Hopkin. Okay. So, central processing unit. I guess we have to get there. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. It does sure look so. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I don't even know why I'm looking. I think there's there isn't anything for us here at the moment. But it never hurts to look. This kind of system, I mean, this whole like looking for in every file cabinet or something is it reminds me a bit and also a little bit of the whole style it reminds me a bit of bioshock infinite like i don't know the whole city it, it well probably it's just a color because the city didn't have anything oh i can't even remember the name of the city now i knew it i normally know it but now i just can't Oh, someone's crying. Perfectly acceptable. They're not good sources of the sea. And I'm sad to say, though, I'm to tell quite a taste for it. Victory meat does not contain any vitamin C at all. Canned and preserved meats are generally very poor sources of vitamin C. Now, if you were on Captain Cook's ship discovering Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii, you just have a bit of grog and well. Columbia. Columbia was the city. I don't know. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did that thing just jump? I'm very mad. That's the elevator. That's jammed. <laughs> Is that laughing or crying? I can't tell. Maybe someone's laughing and someone's crying. Who knows? Oh, we just have to find out, I guess. There you are. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. We don't have all day. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Call security. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Oh my god. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. Oh my god. Ew. That was a rat or an opossum or something. Ew! Oh, happy birthday. Oh no. Yes. Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time. Oh no. Oh well. Now we got caught, so but there wasn't anything that we could have done, so this is supposed to happen. Happy is the country with no past. Hmm. I don't know, all these, these, these phrases, they do a little bit, they make me a little bit thoughtful because, yeah, one part is true. If you don't remember anything from your past, you can't, you don't remember when you got hurt or anything bad that happened to you, but on the other hand, maybe you should remember. Maybe it, maybe it's, I don't know. Hmm. You can't really express it. Maybe it's just that what happened to you before maybe made you into what you am now, today. Okay, so where are you? And where are we now? Uh, really? Christ, I thought of those bastards chased me. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. Okay, so it didn't take us anywhere. Wow. Ah, oh, yeah, because one of them was smelling gas. So... We wanted to go that... Do we have to go that way or do we have to go this way? I kind of want to open... Oh, not okay. Out that way. Okay, so we have to go that way. Barrel home distribution note. Wear your safety helmet and gloves at all time. Yeah, no. Don't have them with me. So what about this one? Let's see. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. <laughs> yeah, so they just left you here. Yeah, but we were supposed to be a downer anyway, so... Probably they didn't care too much about us. Oh, okay. Coins, I'll take them. Nothing in here. What was that? Sovereign. Don't really know what a sovereign is, but okay. Maybe we'll find out. Search. Ooh! What's 
start of radio Oh yeah, that's a radio over there. Another sovereign, a teacup. Nothing in the fridge. Oh yeah, now we have lock picking tools. Tie a string, whatever that is. To Rup Mr. Rupert Underhill, Station 4, from Jim Watt, Chief Engineer. Dear Rupert, are you quite certain Teddy's off his joy? Perhaps he merely forgot. You've got to look after your mates, man. Have you tried trying? T have you tried tying a string around his finger? That always helps me. Anyway, I can't reassign Teddy because I haven't got a replacement. All the juniors are off at Scargill. The subsidence has been so severing all sorts of connections and the motoline must flow. I really appreciate your sticking by your post. If we don't do our duty, who are we? But try to string around the finger. I feel certain you will manage the situation. All my best, Jimmy. So there's a new lo load Okay, so these two we have already- but what were you thinking is- I don't know, this is a new one. Oh, well maybe that's some kind of a diary because we just- Well, Arthur, you've gone and done it, haven't you? Not only rather spectacularly quit your job, but you're a downer now. The townsfolk will unleash the hounds, or they would if we hadn't eaten them 20 years ago. Okay, there are no dogs here. The wastrels do not seem terribly friendly. I hope they aren't really cannibals. Oh god, I'm one of them now, aren't I? I've got to get out of Wellington Wells. I've got to get over the bridge and off the islands. Which means I've got to get back into the parade district, don't I? Which I was just chased out of. Brilliant. Q, what in dog's name were you thinking? A, Percy. I saw his picture from just before we put them all on the train. God, all that horrible grinding steel and the screams, he must hate, how he must hate me. Why did I tell the Jerrys I was already 13? They were only off by 10 days. Why didn't I keep my mouth shut and get on the train and go off to Germany with him like I promised him? Oh no. Okay, so all this, this registration thing, it was... Mm, okay, so the kids that were under 13, the kids that were under 13 that had to be registered that we read before. Uh, okay, I think I was wrong in, in accepting it. But the train, but the kid, the children that had to be, um, that had to be registered when they, if they were under 13, Apparently they got they had to go on a train and got shipped off to Germany. And Arthur and Percy both were supposed to go there, but Arthur told them that he was So I guess he didn't lie. So he was already 13, but this was only by 10 days. But he told them anyway, and so he was he left and he got to stay in Wellington and Percy was shipped off oh god <laughs> hmm okay I can't remember but I think I approved this message before now I'm terribly sorry about that also on the other hand what's happened happened I j it just was if we published those articles from the past if we put it in, in public archives I think okay so anyway um, why didn't he ki why didn't he keep his mouth shut he, I can't remember but I promised him that's got to mean something I've got to go find Percy wherever he is and make sure he's okay PS how long have we been eating rats oh yeah Ugh, that was really disgusting I think I, I probably wouldn't eat anything <laughs> when I was on Joy. 
when I when I when when I will take joy again. I don't know if it's necessary at some point, but I should make sure that I don't eat anything. Let's don't turn off the radio. That's nice. So here's a lavatory. Oh god. What's that? That was something. Do I want to search toilets? No. Oh, there's a cloth strap. Yeah. Oh, okay, medical supplies. Those are always good. Take an empty pill bottle. Why not? Diary of Prudence Home. Oh, Prudence. Was this a mistake? It seemed so clever to disappear first, rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they'd ever known a Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office, and they'd forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder, should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house. Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all these wastrels? My god, they look like something out of Dante. We chased someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we chased them out when joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital, but I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all complicit. We know without knowing and don't want to remember, so we don't. My god, I can't wait to get to the mainland. So actually, we're taking the same path that really Prudence was. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. I sure wonder too. That would be so cool. I hope we don't find her dead. I'll need some odds and bobs and bits of metal to make a lockpick. Oh. We already have that. Yes. So there's something. Maybe the hammer does craft something. So survival. Outfits. No. Tools. The lockpick. So hold the space bar to craft. Hmm. The crafting. The crafting looks really nice. So apparently for some things you need. Okay, so for a jimmy bar, we need metal bits. There we I go. Think. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. Okay. Okay, hold V to pick the lock. Oh no, who's that? What happened to him? Or rather, who? Yeah, I wonder too. What's that? An electro lock shocker. He won't need it. Rupert Underhill. Uh, no, he doesn't have anything on him. Ah, why do I always press escape? So, an empty syringe. Yeah, maybe we can use that in something. Hmm. Promises. What's that? Oh, is that a memory? Half me going to hurt us. No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. But, but, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Okay. So this was before they got on the train. More bobby pins are always good. 
Oh, okay, so apparently at some point we also will need to sleep. So, and this is the diary of Theodore Minor. September 18. I look into the lights like the doctors ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there moving around like shadows but made of light. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. He keeps turning lights off, says he wants to save the bulbs. He's trying to make me think I'm going blind, isn't he? How he loves to feel superior. September 19th. Took two joy just so I could stand his ugly face. Why won't it work? Has he swapped them out for something? Paracetamol? Jelly beans? Jesus, we haven't had jelly beans since. Have we ever had jelly beans? September 20. I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice, like I'm a child. I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children. Obviously. Jesus, what is wrong with my joy? September 22nd. There he is, scritching away in the corner. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Ah, Mr. Gibbon? And then the whoosh of the pneumatic tube. He's blaming it all on me, what happened, isn't he? He says it's his missus. I don't believe he still got a missus. With his big mossy teeth. I bet she went on holiday long ago. Was I married once? How did it end? I get an awful feeling in my stomach. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy remembering. Something is all fucked up about the joy. And he won't send me home. We've got to stay here. Duty. I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats. It's his big mossy teeth. I lie awake and picture sneezing and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the color of my carrots. He bloody well stole. He's plotting something. Let him try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing, writing those lies. Reassign me, will he? Off my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tri tripling up and he knows it. October 6th, we've come to end of our time, we've come to end of our time, we've come to the end of our time. Okay. Oh, so this must be Teddy. This was Teddy that we found the old letter, this tie string. Yeah. So Rupert must be this one with the mossy teeth and this was Teddy. So apparently he was taking his joy, but it didn't work. So anyway, I think this is a good place to stop for the first episode. It has been, well, 44 minutes already. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh. I did it again, did I? No, I didn't. So, anyway, thanks again for watching, and um, see you next time.